Virgos, what's up my family, my soul tribe, my love, love, loveies. This is a late night quick read for you guys. It's late night over here. It's about almost 1 a.m., okay? And for Sneak, is up a little bit late. Um, but I was doing a lot of things today, and I had a lot of readings. I was doing readings, and then I had other things to do. So I'm here popping in to give you a quick love message. Something between you and your person, whoever may be on your mind. Um, or who may be thinking about you. So I did do a pre-shuffle for you guys. And these are the cards that came out. We're also going to get some messages to see how this person feels about you. Or whatever their thoughts are, emotions or affections are toward you. And then we'll go through all of this. So really quickly, let me at least tell you guys what we have on the board. Um, first, I'm sending you my love, light, and positive energy. Thank you guys for booking your readings with me. Thank you for your love and your support and your beautiful messages. And I pray that that reading that I posted earlier helps you elevate, grow, and gives you the guidance you need on your path. If you missed it, check it out. It's very um, motivational, very encouraging, and very empowering. You know iron sharpens iron, so I am here for you, okay? Let's go ahead and get into this really quick, okay? So, the first card that came out is Gamble. Taking a risk, wearing your poker face, not showing feelings, rolling the dice. I feel like somebody is in your energy and you're playing it cool with them. I feel like you definitely got your poker face on. You're not trying to let this person know how you feel. And you're definitely not trying to make it very easy for them. You're not making it easy, all right? Somebody thought it would be a lot easier to get into you as, I mean, easier than it is. But no, okay? Um, somebody definitely is trying to make some type of proposal, an offer to you. Somebody even could want to um, take this relationship to a higher level of commitment. But we have, and then we have ravenous here. So this card comes out when it's an uncontrollable desire, an appetite for sex, insatiable hunger for pleasure. So somebody is obsessing over the fact that they need to have you. It's like they're obsessing over the fact that you're not letting them in. You're not opening up. You're not easy to get. It's like somebody wants you to be easy. But they think you're playing hard to get, but this is just how you are. Somebody is lazy. They're not trying to peel back the layers. They're not trying to invest. They just want to cut right to the chase. Somebody really, really wants you. And they're making you this offer. You got your spirit guides here. Protected aura. Divine intervention, your guardian angels are shielding and protecting you from whatever this is that this person is bringing your way. For a lot of you guys, that's your that strong feeling that comes over you when you talk to this person. It's like a warning, all right? So your angels and gods are warning you about this person not to trust them like somebody is up to no good. Let's see what kind of what let's see what kind of vibes they're giving you. Like what what kind of em energy are they sending you here? Okay, let's see. Somebody could really want to propose to you. Some of you guys can have somebody who is falling in love with you. Somebody, I feel like somebody has somebody. And this might sound funny, but somebody keeps proposing. Somebody keeps rejecting someone cuz somebody keeps proposing. Let me see if I can get some more light for us. Why does the light look yellow, guys? It looks yellow. Ooh, okay. But let's see. Somebody keeps proposing. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Gods from my amazing Virgo tribe. Thank you so much for messages of clarity, love, truth, and guidance on their path. Thank you for your divine hand of protection over each and every one of us. Amen. Let's see. Thank you for banishing all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, and wickedness and confusing the enemy on our behalf. Let's see. So I want things to work out. Somebody wants things to work. Somebody could keep pursuing you. I feel like somebody is messaging you or calling you. Um, but I feel like <laughs> I see here that the reason why you're avoiding this person is for your own good. All right. And this is why spirit is here. Spirit. You see that? Protected aura, divine intervention, guardian angel. You're being protected from this person and this energy that they're bringing. You're also being covered for any type of negative energy surrounding you. A lot of you guys are covering yourselves because you're tired of these negative people. Events are happening. Things are coming, coming in and you're trying to block yourself from this. Like, but a lot of you guys, sometimes you have to do some inner healing because when you're not ready and you try to jump out there and date, you get all the wrong people. 
because the universe wants you to learn this lesson and it's just like okay they didn't learn that level one they want to avoid it so boom level two lesson it's it's an even more toxic person level three something can happen to get your attention to make you slow down and just stop dating altogether car trouble health problems it's different things that happen to like it's it's I know it sounds hard to believe y'all, but it just happens like that to get your attention to pull you back from something. And it's not always God. Sometimes it's your free will. It's the choices you make. Every consequence comes with a repercussion and it's good or bad. It's all about what you're doing and what lessons you're supposed to learn and how you're going about doing things. Because when you ignore the divine and you ignore your intuition and you continue to do things that are bad for you, then eventually it's going to come out and it's going to be in a way that may hurt you. Right now, you're being protected and guarded from this type of energy that's coming towards you. Whatever this is, it's definitely somebody who's obsessing. Um, it, it, I don't see anything horrible right now. I just see somebody that has an extreme desire for you, you know, and this person continues to try to give you an offer or come at you or come towards you. Somebody could even be trying to communicate with you in the 5D. That means pulling at your energy when they're meditating on you and things like that. Somebody definitely is trying to wait to use sex magic on you because whenever you give it to them, they're going to try to blow your freaking mind. So you could just keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. So <laughs> whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Like you're not showing your hand. You're being very stern. You're being very serious. You're not really showing this person any emotions for real. Like you're just... It's like they're getting the representative because you can do it too, right? You know how to put on a face where somebody doesn't know how you really feel and who you really are. You just play along because this person is secrets and deceptions is here. This person's not being real about their self, their situation or whatever the case may be. I feel like they're hiding their true intentions. They just want to use you and throw you away. That's the truth. I know it sounds harsh, but you know, people do this every day. Some people are just sorry. I'm sorry. Like, it's true. Like, some people are just like that. They're really low sometimes in their energy and things are going on in their life. And they got pushed to the limit where they don't care anymore. Some people just give up. And so they just start feeding off of people every day. It's just how they do from person to person to person. Somebody is saying they feel empty without you. This is the energy that they're projecting onto you. So it's like when they talk to you, they could tell you this. They could, um, when you do answer the phone, they really lay it on thick. Um, friends and family disapprove of this connection because this person is completely nuts. All right. I mean, they really, this person, it's a lot of healing that needs to happen in this person and they're not doing it. They feel like some person is going to come along and heal them. I'm afraid of commitment, right? But they keep making you an offer, right? And then they keep having all these uncontrollable desires for you and keep pursuing you for sex, passion, love, or or not. Some, some of these people aren't even saying what they want, but you know what they want because you could tell by the level of effort that they're putting in that they're really not concerned with getting to know you or... Making the communication, I mean, making the communication have substance, nor are they trying to move things to the next level or really trying to invest because you would know. So that's what this person is doing. So somebody is offering you passion, offering you pleasure. Um, and it's a gamble. It's risky. All right. And somebody is rolling the dice here. You could be deciding to take a choice, a chance with this person. Somebody is about to do it. And your guides and angels are here warning you of potential disaster. Like they're here to prevent you from going through a tower moment or to try to prevent you from going through another karmic cycle for real. And I want things to work out is here. So this person is pursuing you, trying their hand. Let's see what else you need to know about this particular connection. Let's see what else we can find out. See how this person is feeling. Like what's up with them? what's the intentions here oh my god i saw divine assistance again what is happening with this person let me get these other cards 
let's see what is going on here holy spirit holy angels what is it that we're going to know about this person someone rising in venus what does virgo need to know about this person what's happening here Somebody's dealing with the fire sign. Somebody is thinking about you so much. Somebody has somebody pregnant. Use your intuition. Um, this person could be having problems at home. Oh my gosh. A fire sign and an air sign somebody is dealing with. So we're going to put these two up here and get two more cards. All right. Somebody has somebody pregnant. No, it is not the right time. Protect your energy at this time. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you. I could be talking to somebody that's in a relationship with the same sex. Whoever this is that you're thinking about, they'll be back. All right? Somebody, I'm talking to somebody in a same sex relationship or somebody could be bi. Um, whoever you're dealing with, they'll be back. Okay? You know who it is. You know who I'm talking to. You can even talk to me in the comments if you want to, but it, it's okay. But Spirit is telling you that you need to let this person go completely because they're not worth anything. And I'm also feeling Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo is here. Somebody's dealing with a water sign as well. But make room for the new beginning that is on its way to you now. Somebody is dealing with somebody that has somebody pregnant or you are pregnant and this person is pursuing you heavy. This could be somebody that you walked away from and you're trying to stand clear of this person. Your gods are here warning you to use your intuition when it comes to this connection. Let's get the tarot and break this down. Because what the heck, y'all? What in the world, okay? What is happening here? <laughs> what is going on? Um, let's see. Let me get these cards. What? What is happening? Okay, y'all. Y'all can talk to me in the comments. I'm sending you love. If you want your prayer, look at it on the other reading. I think I already said that for my lovies that didn't get that prayer today. Um, let's see. Y'all, what the heck is going on? So, one thing I know, like, whatever it is about you, you drive this person crazy. Like, you really turn this person on, and they keep coming back. It's like they keep coming back. Somebody could have popped up out of nowhere. Somebody is... Saying, I just got a message from them today. Like, somebody keeps popping up. And this poor soul, somebody here keeps proposing to somebody. And you're just, like, not taking the offer. Like, you don't want it or something. Somebody could be thinking about proposing to somebody. Or somebody could be trying to um, pull you in with the proposal. Don't be so quick to accept that. I know marriage sounds great. And being proposed to feels amazing. But... Don't just take a cheap offer just because you, you want that feeling and you know this is truly not the right person. Don't do that to yourself, Virgo. Do not do that. And don't rush it. Don't rush it. Whoever's meant for you will wait for you. Like They're going to work with you and wait until your feelings are right. Mm -mm. Show me clearly. What's the gamble that Virgo's thinking about taking? What's happening here? A lover situation. So you really thinking about somebody is thinking about taking the bait. And you could be dealing with a Gemini. This person's coming back. Secrets and deception. They got an ulterior motive. Somebody is mad at you or something like that. And they want. <laughs> I feel like if you let this person in and you fall for what they're trying to do. They're going to take advantage of you because they feel like they owe you one. Whatever you said or did to this person, I really feel like it's because you're rejecting them. They're going to come back and try and keep trying. And if they can break you down and make you accept them, they're going to try to play you. So be careful. All right? Be careful because it's game on for this person who I was dealing with a Gemini. But it's a lover situation. You could be thinking about it. But I feel like you're holding, you're standing true to how you feel. You're not breaking for this person. You're not showing them how you feel. It's like you're not showing them your hand. You're holding your hand very close to your chest with this lover's situation. What else is here? Ten of Cups. Somebody feels like you make them so turned on. With the Ten of Cups, it's just like 
you make them feel something that nobody else can make them feel it's like you you make them want to give you emotional pleasures and fulfillment and passion and it's all about your energy and how you naturally are you're not really doing anything extra you're not and you're not even fully opened up to this person at all i see it like you're not you may have opened one or two layers maybe on layer number two like you're they're not doing much and you're not volunteering to peel back no layers for them so that's what i see here somebody could definitely be dealing with the scorpio or this death card is representing a necessary ending because you feel like you, it's, it's a necessary ending here for this um whoever this is it could be a water sign that you ended things with Somebody is hurt because they felt like they were really going to have family with you. <laughs> Look at this devil. Mm. Why is the devil here? Ace of Wands in reverse. Somebody is feeling like somebody is toxic. What's the death card? Hierophant. Dang, the world. Something big is happening here. Somebody is an ending to a relationship. Somebody could have just ended a relationship. Ace of Wands in reverse. No traction. The devil. Some type of negative energy. Toxic energy here. Wow. The Ten of Swords. The Nine of Swords. What in the hell? Somebody is severely... Depressed over a uh, ending. Wow, what the heck is this? So somebody is really upset and sad over this ending. Somebody could have just got out of a relationship or somebody is, it's like when it comes to a higher level of commitment, somebody knows they don't want that. All these swords. Why are the ten of swords here? So it's the end of a cycle, something that was stressful. Something that was weighing down on you. So there's a water sign here. Somebody wanting to make you an offer. Somebody thinking about you. Trying to persuade you to do something. And I feel like it has something to do with this Gemini. Or whoever this person is over here with this lover's energy. Trying to persuade you to have sex. Literally. It could be a fire sign and an air sign that is yearning for you. And you close the door on them. Right, somebody's dealing with a Sagittarius and a Gemini, and it's a lot going on here. It's two people. This Gemini is like bisexual or something like that. Somebody's already in a same-sex relationship. And this Capricorn, I mean, and this you got a Capricorn here that keeps trying to come back towards you, and you rejecting this person. What's this pregnancy? Somebody wants to work on it, but it's a bunch of arguing. Somebody here could have got somebody pregnant or somebody has somebody pregnant. Some type of baby on the way. And somebody wants to work on it with you. Somebody is definitely having trouble with their child's father or the child's mother, like the other parent, somebody's pregnant here and somebody is making it hell for somebody. What's the king of swords? This person can have options. This person could be trying to make you an option. It's like somebody here is very shallow. And they feel like they're so crafty and really trying to pull one over on you. It's like they're trying to pull you in. 
But it's a need, and it's like they're holding on tight to the idea that it may work. But you literally closed this cycle out. Like, it's like you slammed the door in their face. You didn't even think twice about it because you, you know this energy that they're bringing. Everything they're trying is failing. It's like they tried, they tried with the Page of Cups, a small offer. They came with the Knight of Cups, so... Or the Knight of Cups, they tried to come on strong at first and you rejected them. Then they tried to come and try to say hey or hi or whatever. You rejected them. This person is all in their head because they can't get you. They can't get you to let your guard down to, for nothing. And Virgo, I feel like it's because you understand what they're trying to do. And somebody thinks they're slick, but they're not smarter than you. Somebody has like a baby on the way and somebody very annoying at home that they fight with all the time. You're being protected from this energy. So use your intuition. I feel like there's two different cycles here that you're deciding to close out. Dang. Mm. Show me the energy toward Virgo from this air from this fire sign. Aries Leo said. Wanting to give you an equal give and take. Show me the energy from, and, and this also could be um, generosity. This could be somebody that is having a change of heart. This could be somebody who is feeling giving or um, opening, wanting to open their heart to you. This is somebody who also could have two different people or, or more that they're giving to. And they didn't really have enough for you because they were already already given to somebody this could definitely mean somebody was giving you the bare minimum as well show me air signs somebody could also feel like you're a blessing with this six of pentacles energy what's the air signs energy toward virgo somebody is waiting patiently waiting investing wanting to invest in this it's like Somebody is trying to be more familiar with you. It's like they're trying to make you think about them. They're trying to invest here. What's this sexuality card? Someone is still figuring themselves out. It's like you have a feeling. Somebody's a Gemini, <laughs> Libra, or Aquarius trying to figure themselves out. You directly asked this person about their sexuality. Somebody lied. Wow. King of Cups. Somebody here with the sexuality card. Somebody could be dealing with the King of Cups that is definitely bisexual or or just only into the same sex. And you're standing your ground with this person. Showing them that you know your worth. Somebody is seeing more than one person. Somebody could even be dealing... Supposed to be in a same-sex relationship and dealing with their child's mother. This is somebody who has a child. Dang, whatever this is, somebody definitely didn't expect this. But I see you deciding not to give in to somebody. Somebody is definitely not trying to talk to a Capricorn. It's like you're ending it with this Capricorn. Somebody is saying something needs to change. Somebody could be, be very stressed about this person because they won't let you go. They keep trying to persuade you. But somebody here is married or already in a relationship. They're not even available. It's a lot of people here. A lot of energies. We got fire, air, and water. And you're being told to use your intuition. And you're being protected from any type of dark energies that's around you. Somebody is saying, I was pretending to be somebody else. And they want another chance with you. They're saying, I was pretending to be somebody else. What is this? I was pretending to be somebody else. Somebody definitely is making you an offer. Knight of Pentacles. Sneaking around. Lying. Being fake. So when you, I feel like it's a knight of pentacles here. When you met this person, they were pretending to be innocent. They were playing the dumb role. Like they need help. Like they don't really know what to do. This could even be somebody who is new in the area, new in the neighborhood. Somebody who um, just pretended to, to be vulnerable and innocent, but they're not. And they thought they tricked you. 
But really, they tricked themselves out of somebody really good because all you did was leave them standing right where they were at. You're like, if you don't get your crazy behind away from me, period. Like, take you and your swords and your lies and your issues and get on over there somewhere with somebody who got time for it because uh, not today. You were like, get behind me saying not today, right? And I feel like with these people, I don't know why people think that they can just come along and get you to open up and play with you and then leave. Like, it's not that easy. It's not as easy to get to you as somebody thinks here. And I feel like it's not only one person. It's three different energies here. So I could be telling three stories. Just take it how it resonates, guys, because you know this is general. So every single thing might not resonate with you. And it's always a blessing if it does, right? But... <laughs> Who's this saying I want this to work out? What's the sign? Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. So somebody here, who, who is this? Somebody has hope. Somebody is encouraged. It's a fire sign that's saying that they want things to work out. You can see this person in passing, but the next time you see this person, you're going to feel their energy. Somebody wants things to work out. It could even be another Virgo that is watching you that wants things to work out. This person has some health issues. They really do. With this Four of Swords, I feel all different things with the cards. And I'm telling you, with this particular person that's watching you, wanting a chance with you, they got some health concerns. All right? I don't think it's you. If it's you, then it might be. But I don't think this is you. I don't feel that. I feel like it's that person and somebody's dealing with another Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Somebody definitely dealing with another Virgo. And they're thinking about you passionately. This is your advice from spirit. Stay your grounds. Keep your guards up. Time for firm boundaries. Because it's like... I don't see anybody here that's serious. Alright? I see people here that are being opportunists. Trying to take advantage of an opportunity. Thinking that you're an easy target. I see people here that... Do you have some type of emotional feelings, but it's only one that wants to actually give you a relationship, but this person has scattered energy. Like, you can't trust this. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not going to sell you a dream just so you can go hold on to some stale memory that don't do you any good. Like, why would I want you to run around in circles? Then I got to do another heartbreaking reading personal for somebody. No, I'm going to tell you what I see. All right, and you've been doing all this inner work and listening to these videos and watering your seeds. You've been doing too much work to play around with these people. You you want solid food now. Like, it's no more baby food. Like, you, a lot of y'all healed your wounds. You're moving forward. You're being positive. You're doing great. So, these people, this low vibrational energy and all this confusion and stuff, Queen of Swords energy is exactly where you need to be. And King of Swords if you need to. All right? Because... You really don't have time for this Seven of Swords energy, the Seven of Cups, more confusion, the Nine of Swords, people getting, like, trying to project their negative energy and depression onto you or keep you stuck in your head. And then you got the Ten of Swords here, somebody up there um, manipulating you, reeling you in. Somebody's dealing with a water sign and you, damn, you cannot trust this person. I don't see why you keep trying to make yourself stay with this person and you know you can't trust them. You know, as readers sometimes, especially the ones that care, it's frustrating to see that because we try to encourage you to do the best thing. And then you turn around and do the opposite and then get hurt and be like, yeah, that hurt me. They did this. They did that. Now, I love you. So I'm going to be real with you. You got to be strong and you got to be walking in your power and being direct with these people and showing that you already know your worth. You don't need anybody to validate you because if they see that you don't know your worth when they come in the door, they're going to try to make it be whatever you let them make it be. And they will leave with your heart in their hand, dragging it. All right. So be careful, Virgo. Take care of yourself. Like mind your money, mind your goodies. And keep your door closed, okay? And if you have company or whatever, be, be wise. Be smarter than them. Like, don't be weak for momentary pleasures when you know it's going to lead to a disaster. And whether you realize it or not, Virgo's hearts are usually connected to their 
special parts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your private parts. All right? Your heart's connected. So you're going to get hurt eventually. And you could try to be tough Tony all you want, but eventually you're going to feel something and either break down crying or be ready to tear somebody up. And I can't bail you out of jail. Okay, so I'm gonna need y'all to just, 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 just let's just work with each other. We wanna encourage each other and just hold out, okay, until the right person comes along. Now, you do have somebody here that may be offering you some type of relationship, but like I said, they have this Knight of Wands energy. This is not the most reliable knight, and it's a knight, okay, not a king, not an emperor, but you got this king over here that's struggling with their sexuality. But they're not doing right. Something is up with them. They're being sneaky. All right. And they're being a bit manipulative. It's a need for you to go within so you can see these people for exactly who they are. Spirit is telling you to look deeper. Take a deeper look. Your gods are warning you about these things. Okay. All right. I love you guys. This is your message for um, the late night message. You guys can probably watch it tomorrow. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are up because tomorrow is Monday. But I love you. Here's your reading. If you want to book a personal, book it at closer to the number two, mydestiny.com. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good night.